Good morning, good day and good evening listeners. I'm James Merrill and this is the first ever Popcorn Ready podcast. This movie review is about the 2019 Joker movie starring Joaquin Phoenix. I'll keep spoilers down to a minimum, I promise. First up, I loved how the film was edited and cut scene to scene. The environment of Gotham is a cityscape showing a city that had seen better days, creating an ever bigger divide between the population, namely between the rich and poor of its residents, and the mounting tensions affecting everyone was superbly well executed by the director Todd Phillips. This went hand in hand with the film's main character, Arthur Fleck, who is a mentally troubled man who works as a clown. He also has an uncontrollable laugh, making people feel very uneasy around him. His dream aspiring to be a successful comedian one day. But how people mistreat this person on a personal and mental level in day-to-day life, from his medication getting cut, to getting attacked by a group of young lads while working, to getting humiliated on a TV show by a talk show host slash comedian he and his mum absolutely idolises. All these things bear heavily on Arthur, shaping his actions slowly but surely throughout the movie, making him ultimately take on the persona he is more known for, as Arthur's life begins to spiral downward out of control into delusions, violence and anarchy, he eventually transforms into Gotham's infamous clown of crime, Joker. On the face of it, he didn't want to be a bad man, it would seem all he wants to be is accepted, by someone, anyone. But troubling relationships of his work colleagues, love life, counsellor and mother push this poor person over the edge. This film is a gritty story of how the environment and the people you associate yourself with can affect your well-being. Some would say an origin story of Batman's arch nemesis of the DC franchise is long overdue and the movie has been given high praise indeed. Jay Phoenix, I'm sure, will be nominated for an Oscar for this performance. Some would say the deep character development and chilling performance of this character portrayal leaves a sense of realism of how mental health needs to be viewed in the real world right now. The brutality is very hard-hitting from scene to scene, especially as the audience witnessed some of the deaths. Only thing I would have preferred is a five-minute mass riot scene showcasing the destruction of buildings and lawlessness of everyone in the city, with the Joker leading his followers, the riot mob. Given the crescendo at the end of the movie most people would have desired. Instead, we get the feel of a cheaper alternative with small cuts alluding to the robbing of stores, ETC, and the mob coming together. This film has caused a stir, especially with the phrase woke culture in many news articles around the planet. Please give it a watch and make your own opinions on it. The UK release date in cinemas was the 4th of October and The Joker is just over 2 hours long, 15 rated and genre would best be described as crime, suspense, thriller and drama. Opening weekend in the USA box office takings with just over 96 million and it's already won top prize at the Venice Film Festival a few weeks ago. If you have any interest in superhero films and the DC comics, this is definitely worth it. Now to my ratings. Is it sweet or is it salty? I'm giving it 8 out of 10. And I really recommend if you enjoyed this film, I'd possibly give The Shining with Jack Nicholson a look. As the slow building drama horror focusing on one main character again is just as gripping. Thank you for listening people. Please follow and subscribe the channel.